Hey guys, it's Postbox Pat. Welcome back to another map change and storyline video. In today's video, we're going to be talking about where we're at with the map changes in today's update and storyline content and a little bit more. Okay, let's jump in. First map change we have for you guys is actually going to be coming in over at Mega City and it's actually a decent one. One that's not huge, but it's a cool Easter egg. I'll show you guys where it is now as we do begin to fly through the city. You'll notice that some of the boards have been slightly changed, especially one of them. If we come around this side over here, you'll notice on this little green style gray building here, we actually have this spider-man reference one here which is obviously for the miles morales collaboration which is up and coming which is super awesome here's a little screenshot of that and here's a little preview of what it will look like the miles morales collaboration when it's in the shot so it's pretty awesome i think you guys should like it and if you are buying any of this don't forget to pop in code post to support the channel over here that's post takes a few seconds to pop in and it really does go a long way okay so there's your first map change for today's video okay so moving on to the next map change if you remember down here we did have like earthquakes affecting the road and stuff but now all the earthquakes are now leaking with different tree roots which is really interesting i don't know who this connects to or what it could be could it be a reference to the herald could it be a reference to the old reality tree or could it be a reference to an up and coming jungle biome i'm not 100 percent sure it is rumored that season three will have a jungle biome as its main theme which we haven't really received in fortnite ever we did receive it with the predator area but sadly the predator poi was just like a small little poi in the corner of the map it wasn't an entire section and i guess we did have a jungle kind of back in chapter one with the pirate poi but you know i guess most of these places aren't really jungle so maybe we'll get a proper jungle but you can see here this is a really cool little poi change a lot of cool easter eggs here just reference here to the government as well with this i guess digger i guess the government's is long gone by now in the fortnite storyline and probably was just an accidental thing which was brought up in chapter one by myself and other youtubers but it is the government and i guess it's a reference to them and obviously you can see this is kind of i guess digging its way out and getting bigger and obviously allowing the roots to come through the tree and there's a better one if we go further to anvil square we'll actually find a better one of these at this section over here just outside of anvil square by the water this one is i think a better one to look at you've got obviously different points of like digging points different i guess uh trailers there or little wheelbarrow should we say obviously more trees and roots and trunks and stuff coming through which is pretty cool obviously lights shining on it as well to give it that light environment and just kind of the same sort of props and this tent here situated around these new logos and i don't know what these are but yeah pretty cool stuff Stuff and I'm liking what we've got around here. And I think it's pretty cool. This section is really cool with the roots coming through. So obviously this is an important change. The government are acting and digging up on it. So it is probably going to be related to the next season. Sadly, it's not live though. Why is it not live? Why aren't these things happening live? Like imagine this trunk coming out of the ground live and we could watch it live at a certain time or at different times the trunks would get bigger and expand. That sort of stuff just a missed opportunity once again from Fortnite for a community related event which builds hype towards the next season. So don't know what they're doing, but it's clear that Fortnite don't really care as much about that stuff, sadly. Uh, they are definitely focusing towards the more UEFN side, which I'm happy with. I do love the UEFN stuff on the creative. I have been working on a map as well. I did do a live stream on it earlier this week. But, you know, it is generally a shame to see this Fortnite story and the mini live events disappear. But it hasn't really had any mini live events, I guess, since Chapter 2, Season 8 with the cubes moving from uh, the last reality stuff. So that was the last time we really received any mini live events in game. Since then, we've not received anything. So... Yeah, it's kind of sad. We had the Order 66 stuff as well when you drop, drop from the battle bus on that date, but it wasn't really mega. It was just literally a quote and a voice line similar to the quest. But anyway, we'll get into the storyline content in a minute. I just want to show you guys the last map change, which actually is a map change coming in at the Citadel, which links in the new grind rails over here. So the grind rails have been added in, and I think they're pretty awesome. Like, you can come and check these out, and obviously this is where you can grab your XP stuff if you've got the XP skin to get your levels. I'm definitely going to be buying that. I need a few levels. But it's pretty awesome i think this is a really nice one and definitely allows the citadel for more rotation and the ability to rotate around it now these are a nightmare when doing boss meets and stuff because if the boss or npc goes on one of these rails they head towards back i guess back towards their poi but you know it's nice like it's great for rotation bad for video content creation though especially without battle labs now uh, but yeah this is pretty awesome i think this is actually my favorite map change this week because the Citadel's got an awkward POI to climb, but with this, it's going to give you access to climb it a little bit easier to get up to these higher points. Sadly, none of them lead up to the top of the Citadel, but most of them from like the grass, say like here, you could jump on the rail here and get up to the Citadel. You never really used to be able to rotate up here. You could climb this hill difficultly here, but it wasn't easy. So there's a lot of rotational points now with the Citadel, which are really awesome. So a really cool map change coming in here with the grind rails over at the Citadel. Definitely one that makes it feel a little bit 
out of place. It doesn't look right. It looks a bit odd, but uh, it's cool and it's really awesome. Really gives me Mario Sunshine vibes, these grind rails as well, especially in a POI like this. So yeah, absolutely loving that. And we'll probably get them at one more POI, maybe Bastion. I'm not too sure where we'll get them. I think there's one more update to come. Sadly, no real changes at the Herald's Tree either to indicate that maybe it could be the roots or anything. So this still remains the same. A little bit of a texture bug at the bottom, but nothing huge here, sadly. So I was kind of excited for that, but maybe not. All right, let's jump into some storyline related stuff and something I want to show you guys on Toy Box as well. For those that are fans of Toy Box, just a quick little one for you guys. I've also added the Chug Cannon in here and I've added back the, I guess, Cobra DMR. Sadly, it got vaulted for some reason, but the Chug Cannon's in here now and the Cobra DMR is here. I'm not too sure how I accidentally deleted it, but it's back if you have been wondering because a few people have been asking. And also on the changing booth side, there's now this new system where obviously the left one over here gets rid of all of your little eyes above your stuff. You can press this one here, which restores to your last like i guess outfit this one here which does a random outfit entirely so you can get some real crazy combos like this is a really nice combo which i've just got randomly here and if you press it again you just keep getting complete random combos and you can get some really cool stuff this could be really good in 50 fashion if you play that for like random stuff like look at this look at these combos it's just giving me really awesome stuff this one's nice and some of them do match really well some of them can be a little bit off like this one but you can get some really cool matches with this so if you've got a lot of skins like me and you want to try out this random stuff you can and if you want to clear it entirely you can press that button and it well it exited me for some reason but it does clear it back to the default skin you can see let's see if it does it again oh it's it doesn't work in a game sadly but <laughs> that's weird that's annoying that's an annoying bug like when you go to clear your locker you can't actually clear it <laughs> great that's not going to be helpful at all but yeah that doesn't uh that doesn't actually allow you to clear it. Anyway, let's jump into some Fortnite storyline stuff. I'll let you listen to the last part of the quest this week, and then we'll break down what happened with the storyline, how it's ended, and where things are going to go. Uh, the Unseen have been playing us, hoping the city syndicates will destroy each other in chaos. Why? For power? Don't they understand what they'd be losing in the process? The Unseen isn't doing this on their own. Someone else is setting the menu. But the Syndicates built the city. It's ours. And without us, all of us, none of this matters. Hero, you need to sneak into Unseen territory and remind them of that. The Luminaries have designed a disguise for you. Find it and put it on. Protector of Potassium, Guardian of the Fruit Bowl. <laughs> you are the peel they slip on in the dark. Highwire is the Unseen's de facto leader. Talk to her. Or her right hand flaming skeleton guy you can't miss him. This is it, hero. The fate of this city is in your hands. The Unseen won't listen to us. But after all you've done, if they don't listen to you, we're doomed. Silver Tongue of the Year winner. Highwire has given us the locations of her signal jammer nodes. The tech she's using to communicate with the enemy. Oh, I got this. Grab your favorite smashing implement. It's time to destroy some signal jammers. All the beacons have been lit. You've done the impossible. You've united the city and reminded us that we need each other. So, how do we feel about making our hero here an honorary member of the Peace Syndicate? Of course. And you're getting your own signature menu item at Gila. Ooh, how about a role called the Looper Log? The branding could be, it's the log, Looper's Love. Oh, the City Saver Supreme? You could make it a lunch special. Ooh, how about hero meat? Just a big piece of meat with the word hero cooked into it. Hey, who's chef around here? You stick to playing with knives. <laughs> oh, deal! Don't need to tell me twice. If you ever need any backup, 
We owe you one. Call us, and we'll be there. Keep the peace, hero. Okay, so that was the end of the Peace Syndicate storyline, with all five syndicates finally being united. However, there's something really interesting we've got to look at here, a faction which we've not mentioned on the channel called the Unseen. This is a faction which is brand new and was mentioned throughout the quest this season, and it does kind of point to maybe something in the future, or maybe it's just a complete filler and completely wasted and pointless. Anyway, let's tell you guys about these because you just never know where these might appear again. So the Unseen is a faction which is unpredictable. Inside of the Fortnite Syndicate quests this season, the Unseen were a faction which were sabotaging with the help of Triart Nox. However, some of the members did not realize this, High, Wire, and Renzo, and put a stop to this once they learned it. And that was basically it. And here were the five members, High, Wire, Renzo, and the others you can see here, including Triarch Nox. So yeah, some pretty interesting stuff with Nox having potential links with the last reality, but we're not too sure exactly how far his links were, described as a hostile to all and friend to none, which was interesting. But he did work with two of the other members who were sabotaging. So it was basically just like, a sabotage thing and maybe Nox will have more important stuff in the future but it's just kind of like a weird filler storyline overall i feel like this storyline really did suck and it really did need more development and it didn't have any mini live events or anything interacted with it other than these quests quest storyline has no way of replaying them if they were to simply do what chapter 2 season 2 did with the different runes for the different characters like midas meowzles brutus all that sort of stuff then you could easily go through and listen to the quests and maybe explore more stuff about each faction they could have done that for the different Factions from the Peace Syndicate, River Guard, Bots Clan, the Unseen, and Cold Blood and Last Reality this season, and you could have been able to go through all the rooms and explore details about the faction and learn more. That would include the Fortnite storyline a lot. Sadly, the real truth is Fortnite don't really want to promote the storyline as much anymore. Their focus is UEFN and Creative 2.0. That is the future of Fortnite, sadly, and the storyline and stuff has been pushed to a side really since I'd say Chapter 2's end. The end of that, it really did go downhill throughout Chapter 3. There were elements in Chapter 3 that were really interesting, like up to the Collision event, but after that, it kind of just went even worse in my opinion the collision event lead up was good there was a lot of misconfusion though and things that were going wrong and we did see that through the comics as well i still love the fortnite storyline i will continue to follow it until it completely dies out but i just don't know where things are going to go we do have two outliers that haven't been mentioned yet where amy has gone which did happen last season i think to go and see where the seven were maybe rescue them from the last reality and also jeno's storyline which is unfinished but filling the gaps with this unseen storyline and mentioning the peace syndicate and all this sort of stuff it really just feels like a filler and at this point you may as well just not have a storyline rather than confusing everyone with new characters to learn about because people get attached to these characters and they want to learn about them but we simply can't because there isn't enough information for us to gauge an understanding of them and i feel like it's a waste of a battle pass it's a waste of skins it's a waste of lore and again this is only a minor percent of the fortnite audience like me and maybe you or maybe you're not interested in the fortnite story and for some reason you're still watching this video but yeah thank you if you are and that's really all i have to say it's an interesting one but we'll see the zero point obviously is making some weird sounds and having different stuff with the t tree trunks and the roots which i mentioned earlier so we'll keep an eye on that as the season does end there should be one more update before the season ends and we'll see where things go and hopefully a live event but we can't confirm it so yeah that's it for today's video hope you guys have enjoyed once again leave a like comment and subscribe this is postbox pat signing out